Hello there. Hello there. My name is Sam. By the time this video is premiering, I would have been on YouTube for officially two years. So, I guess the best way to start this video is just by ending it. Goodbye! Nah, no, I'm just kidding with you guys. Take two! So I guess the best thing to do in this video is just to tell you guys how I started out and my overall story. For as long as I can remember, I always wanted to be on YouTube. On what subject, I was still debating. I remember watching videos on my parents' now 16 or 17 year old Apple desktop. I recall spending hours watching Thomas Wooden Railway, Thomas Whatever 2 Henry 3, and other videos like that one Thomas and the Magic Railroad chase scene montage, that remake from Adventure Begins, and constantly spotting the thumbnail for Tobias and the Half Pariah. I also saw an unhealthy amount of remakes in Trains. Yeah, back in those days when I used to pronounce it as Train Z. Around September 2020, I was given my old HP laptop. I'd been using one of my friend's alternate accounts whenever we played this game called Roblox at his house since April that year, so I wanted to create an account of my own. I downloaded and installed Roblox and was just playing around for fun for the next few months. Then, on December 12, 2020, my parents granted me permission to create a Google account along with a YouTube channel which I named Donald Douglas 2000, same as my Roblox username. Some days later, I got my very first subscriber, who is known as Sir SirHandleFan2004. I hadn't even uploaded a single video, and he pressed the subscribe button for no reason. Shout out to him. At that time, I was still figuring out how to make videos. I watched CreekCraft's tutorial video on how to record with OBS Studio, jumped into Roblox CBR3, and started recording. On the evening of Friday, December 18th, my very first video, titled Hello YouTube, was uploaded to my channel, thus rendering a big day in history for me. For the next few months, I made videos that were... not so great. From playing games, to reacting to content from others, to even giving away free DLC codes from a Roblox figurine pack I got for Christmas. To this day, I still don't know if someone won those. If you won the code in that one video where I drove Sir Handel, boy do I have respect for you for enduring that video for that long. Why? I accidentally forgot to set the recording frame rate back to around 25 FPS. The night before, I was recording a piggy round at 60 frames per second just to see my old computer's low capabilities. Then, in February 2021, things started to take a turn. It was a late Monday night. I was looking through my Railway Series book when I came across Bulldog from Duke the Lost Engine. Even as a teenager, I still see an unreasonably steep gradient or broken buffers rather than a sharp bend in the line. Does anyone else? After reading the story, I flipped back to the beginning and looked at the pictures. I then got the idea of copying the text from the story onto a Google Doc and taking screenshots that resemble the illustrations in Roblox CBR3 Narrow Gauge Edition. Because I also wanted to play Roblox, I fired it up and went into the game with Scarloe on the cover. At the shed scene, I thought to myself, why not do an adaptation? Now that I thought about it, it seems so easy. Because the only editing software I had was the YouTube trimming page, I took screenshots over the next week. I edited them, doing anything that was necessary in Microsoft Paint, and even building a small set in Roblox Studio. On March 6, 2021, my very first adaptation premiered. It had like 150 views, which at the time was groundbreaking for me, considering some videos of mine had, and still have, under 10 views. Then I did one of Passengers and Polish, and then Gallant Old Engine. Later that year, something else happened. This would be one of the events that would forever change my YouTube slash filmmaking slash voice acting career as a whole. Back in April 2021, it was spring break and I was on vacation with my family in our condo in Florida. I was in my room sitting on the bed near the dresser where my setup was. I was bored and searched up Roblox Take on Sodor remakes. I found this one user who remade the entirety of Hero of the Rails in the game. I watched the whole thing and was pretty impressed by it to say the least. I looked at who made it, and the profile picture displayed a simple screenshot of Thomas. The username was Take on Sodor Videos. I was somewhat intrigued and clicked on the logo. I discovered this person had a series that consisted of non-chronological remakes and primarily none other than Take on Sodor. I commented on several of this guy's videos with compliments and credit. Often, within 24 hours, I would get an email from YouTube saying, Take on Sodor Videos loves your comment. I also recall him uploading an update video that included a raw scene from his upcoming Thomas & Friends fan film titled Believe in Do. 
On Tuesday, April 13th, a trailer for Believe in Do was uploaded. I was so hyped with this project. I marveled about how well it was put together. The story also seemed pretty interesting, hence this moment. Then came the day. That user uploaded a video announcing a casting call for voice actors for the movie. I recall seeing him replying to several comments that were asking if auditions would be open, and he said they would be open shortly. A few days before the video went public, I was talking with my aunt on the phone about the auditions. I wasn't sure if my parents would say yes on short notice. She then came up with the idea of me saying it would look good on a resume, and it worked! I was telling all my friends, and surprisingly, they were interested as well. I remember telling this to my friends in the boys' small group at church. One of them took a random piece of paper and said, So, Sam, let's read through your resume. Hmm, voice acted for Thomas the Train? Hired! Then, on Friday evening, I had come home from school to find that Piggy Book 2 Chapter 7 released and completed it first try. Wanting to be a director or actor, I jumped on this opportunity. I opened up OBS Studio, the script for the film, and started recording. Altogether, I auditioned for The Big City Engine, or The Foreign Engine, Stepney, Gordon, Henry, and a workman. Why I auditioned for so many, you ask? I wanted a role in this film so bad. Therefore, I auditioned for five different characters to ensure that I could claim at least one part as my own. But this place has too much sunshine. It's always the happy-go-lucky engines that work on the railway. The day this user's name was changed to Engines of Roblox, he uploaded a short 20-second clip from the movie. I commented asking if he needed help with voicing any other characters or anything else. It was around 10.20 a.m. I would leave to go to church in around 5 to 10 minutes. I saw a notification for Engines of Roblox replying to me. I mumbled what the words displayed. Hayden's is voicing Big City, and I got two other people for Stepney and the Workman. You can have the parts of Henry and Gordon, though, smiley face. I was officially a voice actor. I replied to him thanking him so much. I remember strolling up to the room where youth was in church and telling all the bros, then coming back to receive a notification from Engines of Roblox saying, You're welcome. I'm glad there's people like you in the world. It makes me confident. When the movie premiered, I couldn't have been more pleased to see my username in the credits. During this time, I met another friend by the name of The Railway Creations. He and I played Roblox, and I also joined some of his live streams. Man, those birdie battles were awesome. I really wish that game was still up. go on several endeavors in games like Blue Train with Friends, Tom Toys Land, or I would just kidnap him using Harold. <laughs> While helping him with a remake, it took us over an hour to get James off the rails, so much so that we had to use both Rocky and Harold in order to make it happen. Later that summer, another crazy event occurred. I was on a trip in Arizona with my dad when I came across an adaptation of an old Thomas book I remember reading at the library or at Barnes & Noble when I was little. The book was called The Monster Under the Shed. As such, so was the title of the video. The adaptation was pretty good, and then I found out the creator's name was The Blue Snowplow. I also saw that The Monster Under the Shed was a series starring a little blue engine whose name was dubbed Hawan after Hawan Lake on what I believe is the Peel Goddard branch line. I then spotted something on the community page, a release date for the second installment of Hawan the Little Blue Engine. When my dad and I returned to the house, I decided to make a speculation video about The Monsters Are Due at Hawan Lake, the next part of the series. I put together another slideshow and started recording. Little did I know that making that video would be one of the smartest ideas I would ever have. Later that afternoon, The Monsters Are Due at Howland Lake premiered, and I was very creeped out by it, in a good way. I recorded my reaction during the premiere and was ready to edit and upload it before I went to church camp for the week. Although, I had no idea within a few hours, I would receive a very pleasant surprise. I was on the couch with my laptop. I was playing Roblox when I decided to check the good old YouTubes. I opened up Microsoft Edge, clicked on Gmail, and a message caught my eye. 
It was an email that said, The Blue Snowplow has shared your video. I clicked on the message and it directed me to a community post from the Blue Snowplow. The post had my video attached to it. Here's what it said. Haha, this is great. If you guys have any video slash projects about my work, please share them with me. I love seeing this stuff. I looked at the views on the video and my jaw dropped. The video had almost 500 views! It was a new record for me to have that video get that amount of views in almost 10 hours after its upload. Man, my views were low back then. I woke up the next morning to find myself at 50 subscribers. Like I got 17 more subscribers in just 9 hours. I went onto my computer again to find that I was at 60 subs within an hour. I edited and exported my reaction to The Monsters Are Do It How and Lake and scheduled it for 12 p.m. When it was time to head to church, I left the house with a big smile on my face. When I came back from camp, I found that I was over 100 subscribers. Before the previous school year ended, a friend of mine showed me DaVinci Resolve 17, an editor used in the film industry. I used it a couple times and those times are up on my channel. I'll admit they aren't that great. One day, I decided to put the little editing skills I had to a test. I woke up to find that the creators of Tom Toys Land added the Kirk Ronan branch into the game. I explored it, had breakfast, and thought I'd just try to be the first person to do a remake of A Better View for Gordon filmed in that game. I was so unbelievably busy that day simply because of it. I don't know how on earth Engines of Roblox films so fast for his videos. For me, filming just one remake on my old computer took around 6 to 8 hours. The main reason was that the line was big and engines derailed kind of easily and the automatic time of day system. Boy, was that a pain. And Gordon's tender for crying out loud, I can't even process how it manages to- That evening, I started editing and just got past the crash when I would later find out that editing in the cut section would be a big mistake. The next morning, I started editing when I dragged down another clip into the timeline. When I took my finger off the mouse, all the clips from it disappeared. My heart sank. The project I'd been working on since the evening before was pretty much deleted. I guess I'll have to spend another day on it. That evening, I got it done and the premiere page was up. When it played, I was very proud of myself for accomplishing my first remake. Later that summer, I would do another one on the climax from Tobias and the Half Pariah. With thousands of views, that was my very best video. At the time. It was around the beginning of October 2021. Roblox Blue Train with Friends just got the Peel Godred branch added. This line included a scrapyard. I was debating on whether I should do a short video for spook season. Then an idea came to me. All the necessary characters and locations are in the game, and I was okay at editing. I originally thought of doing a remake, then I thought to myself, You've already done two remakes. You now have slightly superior editing skills. We could do something better. Throughout the majority of that month, I wrote a script in three hours, spent about two to three more hours recording and editing dialogue and audacity, three more hours making a trailer, a whole weekend with non-stop filming, and about two weeks in resolve. When my Halloween short film, titled Scaredy Engines, premiered on YouTube, it already had a whopping 1,000 views. I had officially made my first film. The month after, I did a hilarious adaptation of Gordon Takes a Tumble to which once again I filmed in Blue Train with Friends. Shortly after the premiere, word had it that Diesel 10 was added into the game. After checking him out, I got the bright idea of filming a short video with him. After a couple tries, I started editing within 30 minutes. I thought I'd make it as a YouTube short, and after figuring out the right aspect ratio, I put together the clips and some sounds, then exported and uploaded it. At 1.30pm, approximately 90 minutes after my second adaptation premiered, my first YouTube short went public. At the beginning of the month of December, I was actually going to make this video. I had what is now the first half of the script, and recorded the dialogue. But my old computer actually broke. Thankfully though, my parents gave me the current Dell gaming laptop I have a couple days after. I could now record and play Roblox a lot better, as well as doing more things with editing. But unfortunately, I was unable to recover the dialogue. I decided to give live streaming a try instead to celebrate a whole year on YouTube. When the day came, I loaded up StreamYard. My audio was absolutely terrible, and I only did it for like 15 minutes because of it. After an hour later, I decided to have another go. This time, it worked really well. I would eventually switch to OBS Studio for streaming as a result of more audio issues down the line. Ha ha ha, get it? Down the line? Okay, that was bad. But doing things like this really helped to keep the channel active, and it's just another way to have fun.
Around the end of January 2022, I decided to remaster my adaptation of Bulldog. It would be a huge improvement in terms of pretty much everything, especially considering I was doing it on a more powerful PC and I didn't have only four weeks to get it done. I cranked it out and safe to say I was very proud of myself with the shots I was able to achieve. Not long after, I would meet an individual by the name of Donald and Douglas Fan 1002. I saw a couple of his videos and they were pretty good. For a while, we had a private DM place on Discord, but we never talked much until the day came in April, the day that our first voice call would take place. I was playing Legend of the Hills World. We messaged each other for a little and I offered if he wanted to have a call. Upon eagerly agreeing, we had some fun in Roblox and even played Trains 19 for about an hour. He was also friends with Engines of Roblox and the Railway Creations, so the four of us created a group chat that we would communicate with. It was most unfortunate that not long after spring break, my computer had this issue and had to be out of commission for a week or two, but I was thankfully able to get it back fairly quickly. Since December 2021, I was acquainted with another individual who is referred to as Thomas Adventures. For like five months, we would type to each other on Roblox and Discord. While my computer was in the hands of the genius minds at the tech shop, I discussed with him, and we planned for Donald Douglas Fan 1002, he and I to get on a call and play what was his new game, that of which was called A Ride with Sir Handel Collection. We hopped on the voice call and recorded a video for about 48 minutes if I remember correctly. It turned out very well, and after about one or two more hours, I was ready to get started with editing. After about four and a half days of grinding, grinding, and more grinding in Resolve, I ended up with a video that I'm still proud of to this day. I exported it and inconveniently had to wait for three hours to get it uploaded, courtesy of YouTube. It got pretty good reception, especially for the loads of editing I put into it. The summer that lay ahead was a fun one. I made that fun video I stated before, did a live Q&A, made an eerie audio adaptation, went all out in a Sodor Online remake, much to the creator's enjoyment, I ranked every episode of Horror of the Rails, hit that gritty, got chased around by the Railway Creations for not having the right head code, and to top it all off, I premiered an adaptation of the Buried Trucks Company for Boko that October. Sometime in March, I began writing a script for a full-length movie titled Three Railway Engines. After finishing the script at the end of summer, I recorded the dialogue on Labor Day and dropped the first trailer on November 19th. I also ended up making a compilation of all my YouTube shorts on the same day. Man, has it really been two years already? Feeling old yet? So am I. Before I conclude this video, I'd like to give a thanks to the friends I've met along the way. Engines of Roblox, for being the very, very first person I worked with and an extremely great friend. The Railway Creations, for being a very good friend and always providing me with inspiration. I also owe you my gratitude for all the fun times we've had so far, whether it be joining Engines of Roblox and more of his friends in climbing mountains, exploring every nook and cranny of the mines, goofing around a railway, and pulling unreasonably long trains. Donald Douglas Fan 1002, for being a very fun guy to play with and for joining me and the others on our long endeavors. And for inventing this. These are bam. These are bam. These are these are these are these are bam, 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 bam. Thomas Adventures for being a very creative YouTuber and game developer. Because that ride with Sir Handel video was, in your words, slaying and very solid emoji. Sayo for being a very okay pal, joining me on the wildest of the wildest of the wildest adventures in the wild west. How many times did I say wild? Percy Productions for being kind and allowing us to have fun through voice calls, from those days of running away from next bots to killing zombies, as well as other friends like Caleb the Tank Engine 06, Great Western Studios, TFAN2016, and the Sudrian for being very supportive and friendly. And last, but most certainly not least, the fellow viewers. Yes, that's right, you guys. Thank you so much for being incredibly supportive and constantly filling me with inspiration and motivation. Thank you all for making these past two years some great ones. If you've been a long-time viewer of mine since 2020, what are you waiting for? Give yourself a round of applause! You deserve it if you followed up on my channel from those cringy gaming uploads to my very first movie trailer. The future for this channel is bright, and I cannot wait to push more content out to you guys. Thank you very much.